Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Please like and subscribe. This is Omni Flash, your guide to Diablo Immortal. Hey guys, today I got to 800, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about getting to 800, as well as how I did it so quickly. So basically, a battle pass is a double EXP plus. The new Paragon is a Paragon 800, so you get already some, somewhat like 300% uh, bonus, plus the Battle Pass is 100%. So I've saved Battle Pass since since it came out. I have not collected any of it. So I collected a Battle Pass that gave me about 30 levels. Also, Assembly. In Assembly, I don't collect Assembly. Uh, it actually goes straight to my mail. I also collected all the Assemblies from every single day. Also, I uh, did my bounties. I did like 24 bounties, contract, everything. And I also did EXP raids. EXP raids got me two EXP raids. Basically, like Hell 4, uh, Hell 4 Golgothra got me to 800. Once you get to 800, it was a rush. It was a rush. You have to, uh, I had to find two, two weapons. So basically, so there isn't a new type of weapon. You just basically use another main hand. So now you have two main hands and two off hands. So now when you switch your stance, you switch your weapons. So this is in such a way so that uh, your weapon that is currently the stance that is currently up will be using those legendaries. All right. So you can actually change the legendaries that you have active. Right, so if you activate a defensive stance, then you can actually that that would activate those legendaries. So you actually have two pairs of main hand and off hands, and in those main hands and off hands, there will be uh, there will be actually new gem slots. In those new gem slots, uh, you would you know throw in uh, some two stars or five stars, whatever you have. Uh, I've saved up some, so I'm gonna try to stick them in. Also, after I got to 800, I went. I directly went to the mysterious uh, Yakins and started to uh, go get my new Inferno gear. All the Inferno gear is super, super nice. All you gotta do is you gotta get to level 800 first um, and beat Fang 8. Fang 8, uh, Fang Hell 8 is actually pretty easy to beat. You can get your clan to help you. If not, you can ask in world chat. Somebody will help you beat Fang 8. And you don't have to be in an eight-man party. You can definitely uh, beat Fang 8 in like a two-man party even. And uh, yeah, I got several nice uh, several nice ones. And now it's a little different. Combat rating is separate. Combat rating is separate from, uh, from your stats. So you do want to focus on the combat rating for when you're doing stuff like challenge rifts and heliquary raids. But... Uh, the stats is probably more important for like PvP. So, so right now I'm just getting pretty much all the new Inferno gear is going to be a lot better than your Hell 8 gear. So you don't have to, if you have new Inferno gear, it is going to be way, way stronger than your Hell 8 gear. So you don't have to worry too much about that. All right, so I'm putting on all this new uh, Inferno gear. After I put on the new Inferno gear, I'm going to go run inside my castle in my warband castle go inside to the purge area and then open all of the mysterious legendary items and I've, I've i made video on that this way all of my mysterious legendary items will become invocation gear and invocation gear is superior i mean especially if you get a nice roll also open up all of my green mysterious gears uh to get Inferno level set items. There is another thing that you have to uh, worry about um, is that the two new main hand and off hand will start off with no legendary, uh, no legendary ranks. You know how your gear can actually go up to rank thirty. Well, those two new main and off hands start out at rank zero. So I recommend that you do not rank up any more of your legendary items and just uh, start farming up a lot of scraps, a lot of dust. Until you get to 800, then you will use 
you would use all of that scrap and dust to rank up those leg those two new weapons. Okay, you would have to use those to rank up those two new weapons. Also, there is the new stances. You have an offensive and defensive stance, and uh, you can actually activate it. And what happens is you just touch the offensive or defensive button, and it has a 30 second cooldown. And uh, you click on it, and then you will get a super buff as offensive, and then you get a super buff for defensive whenever you swap. All right, so right now I'm just going through, and uh, I'm looking for highest combat rating, simply because now I am going to push uh, the challenge rifts because uh, you know the challenge rifts gives tons and tons of crystals as well as a ton of hilts for first clears. Now I'm going to actually go ahead and craft some new Inferno gear. I'm going to craft some Inferno set gear. I do have 70 Wisp, 70 old Hell 8 Wisp that I can transfer uh, into 10 Inferno 1. So 7 Hell 8 Wisp is 1 Inferno Wisp. Alright, so I have 10 of those Inferno Wisps, which means I can craft two items. And also, I can salvage all of these items that I don't need. All of my old said items will have very low combat rating, will not help me in, in uh, challenge rifts. So I'm looking through, trying to figure out which ones I would need to craft. And I decided that I would need to craft a new neck and a new gloves. And uh, the new neck and new gloves for my for my build, it is recommended that I have at least a Vithu set. So I'm going to craft. Uh, you have to go to Inferno. Make sure you're in Inferno level. Then I'm going to craft a Vithu's neck and a Vithu's glove. Let's see how good how I am. Ooh, exceptional neck. All right, let's go glove. This is just I'm just crafting two. Okay, let's go. Let's go craft two. Boom. Exceptional again. That's not bad. That's not bad. Damn, I got two exceptionals. Wow, those gloves are triples. I got triple gloves and uh, just regular uh, decent doubles. 523, 524 neck. The gloves can be a whole lot better. Because... It only has two gem slots. Uh, well, for challenge rifts, gem slots aren't a huge deal. But I would prefer to have triple gem slots for PvP. Absolutely. Okay, now I'm going to go and I'm going to go grab a gem from inside of my gems. Right? So inside your gems, you already have some gems. I'm going to grab a Howler's Call. Uh, grab a rank 5 Howler's Call. I'm going to throw in a rank 1 Howler's Call. I don't have time to min-max everything because I, would, I just want to get those challenge rips done. All right, so now I have a Howler's Call that I can put in. And uh, trying to find any other gems that I don't actually have. I don't have time to actually rebuild a gem at the moment. So, you know, I just, I'm just i going to throw in that Howler Call and I'm going to actually just throw in a Curse Sling. I had, I had a Curse Sling just to get some more resonance. Uh, and combat rating, which actually it should mainly to get that extra combat rating off of those two new gems. So there are two new wings, and the white wings are just chromatic wings. This, these are the new 6k wings, and then uh, you, I just I can claim the new 7k wings. The new 7k wings is basically uh, the new 7k wings is just basically the 5k wings bigger and brighter orange so normally usually i grab 300 people whenever i do first clears no, no, 310 if i was able i could probably carry 300 people uh it just wouldn't let me normally it would uh but everyone actually has to be level 800 in order to do the first clear so i had to do it solo Unfortunately, because everyone could have gotten a ton of hilts. I think it's something like 4,000 hilts or more. I Doing 310 through 350, I got somewhere around like 30k hilts. So many hilts because of the first clear. Alright, so that's uh, 310. 
400 and 3500 hilts for 310. All right, so this is 320. Uh, 320 actually has 3 million health. Goes down, gives me a ton of EXP, plus 3,600 hilts. Next up is Challenge Rift 330. Challenge Rift 330, we have Perdition, also a pretty easy boss. Let's uh, take him out. A ton of scraps. And a ton and ton of hilts. This is Challenge Rift 340. Alright, so Challenge Rift 340. Perdition goes down. 3,800 hilts. Now, normally I would run three other people with me. However, unfortunately, no one else is level 800 yet. I guess no one just, no one saved their battle passes. Always told people to save their battle passes, save your assembly. Absolutely key to get extra EXP. All right, this is for the last one. I'm I'm so uh, I'm afraid. I mean, there's it's usually usually there is always definitely a hundred new levels. However, they only gave us fifty. I don't know why. I expected challenge rifts to go up to 400. I don't know why the challenge rifts only went up to 350. But this is it. This is 350 challenge rift. And I, I'm not fully geared yet. I just put on whatever gear I could find. And that is 3,900 hilts. There you go. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh.